Well, students had the day off from school today for President's Day. The National Constitution Center had free admission to welcome families on this very special day to simply learn. CBS Philadelphia's Eva Anderson has that story. Here at the National Constitution Center, you can learn about presidents every day, but on President's Day, you can have actual conversations with presidents from centuries past. Well, I'll be 281 come this April. Casual chats with Thomas Jefferson. These are paintings of me. Now I'm seated at the city cabin. And photo ops with Honest Abe were part of President's Day programming at the National Constitution Center, providing an educational experience for kids like Max Koch, who spoke with President Lincoln. It's cool to learn new facts that you didn't learn and it's like it's helpful in school if you were in history. He would rather support me than Aaron Burr. The history lesson continued in the center's auditorium with Teddy Roosevelt joining too. President McKinley had died and that I was to become the next president of the United States. The reenactors took questions and judged a pint-sized presidential costume contest. Cameron is President Barack Obama. For Cameron Capaldi, even picking the costume was a learning experience. I was trying to pick Martin Luther King, but uh, but I realized he wasn't he, he wasn't a president, so uh, so I so I just picked a Barack Obama. Kids could also try their hand at trivia. Who is the tallest president? And even cast their vote. And you're going to have an opportunity to vote for your favorite president today. Zoe Kashinsky got to use a real city of Philadelphia voting machine. And though she's got five years till she can actually vote, she sees the importance of learning. And you could really like prepare for like what you have to do. The day providing an opportunity to peek into the past to get ready to shape the future. Thank you. Eva Anderson, CBS News, Philadelphia.